Hi everyone, I'm Scott Fritz from Stranded on a Planet, here for Groove3.com. In this video, we'll take a look at Note Effects. Note Effects is a new category added in Studio One version 3.0. As opposed to audio plugins, Note Effects plugins process the instrument note data instead of the audio output signal. Since the MIDI data is being processed by the plugins, the original performance data is left untouched. Note effects are PreSonus's version of what are called MIDI effects in most other digital audio workstations. Note effects can be used on any instrument track and are saved within the song or the new instrument plus effects presets, which we can access from the preset icon in the upper left of our instruments window. Note effects can add a lot of variety and creativity to any virtual instrument performance. Let's take a look. First, we have the arpeggiator. This is probably the most requested of all Note Effects plugins in Studio One. The arpeggiator recreates the classic arpeggiator effect, but it's actually much more. In addition to the typical controls for directions such as up, down, up down, down up, random, chord, and from input, to octave range, it also offers a pattern mode with individual velocity and gate time settings for up to 32 individual steps. Let's take a look by auditioning a few of the included presets. In chord mode, the notes of any chord we play are not arpeggiated, but are played through the pattern, creating some very interesting rhythmic effects. In From Input mode, the notes are arpeggiated in the same order as they are played on the input, which creates cool step sequencer-like effects. We'll get deeper into the individual functions of the arpeggiator in a future video. Next, we have the Quarter. This is a really cool and powerful plugin that creates automatic chords from single notes played on the input. Each note on the keyboard can have a unique, different chord assigned to it. If you look at the keyboard user interface, you'll see that I'm only playing a single key at a time, and above the keyboard you can see which notes are triggered by each single key. We have a number of included presets that we can use to demonstrate. As you can imagine, this allows for some very powerful single note triggering options, which is great for both live performance and in-studio composing. And creating our own presets is really simple by using the learn and copy functions here. We can simply click learn mode and use our mouse to select any key on the virtual keyboard to enter learn mode. Playing any single key on our keyboard adds that note to the chord that will be triggered by the key we selected first, and striking the same note again removes the note from the chord. So we can add as many notes as we like, and clicking Learn Mode again takes us back to Performance Mode where we can now trigger the chord we defined by playing the key we chose. In this case, we play C3 as we can see on the keyboard user interface. So presets can be anything from the same chord on every key to complex chords on each individual key. With the Transpose function, the chord pattern can be shifted to any key within an octave up or down.
We'll go over the quarter in more detail in a future video as well. The next note effects plugin we have is the input filter, which replaces the input filter found in the track inspector for instrument tracks. It can be used to limit the key range and or velocity range of instruments at the input stage. This can be very useful if we want to emit lower or higher notes from being played, or to exclude very low or very high velocities from our performance. And of course we can either type these ranges in with our keyboard, or simply drag the vertical and horizontal sliders to define the ranges of the input filters. Very quick and intuitive. Lastly, we have our repeater plugin. This plugin can create anything from basic delay and echo effects to complex patterns and glissandi. To quickly demonstrate some of the options, let's audition a few of the included presets. As you can hear, the individual pitch offsets we can define for each step in pattern mode gives this tool a unique twist. We can create complex, dynamic, and melodic patterns that can be triggered instantly and very easily. And like the arpeggiator, the repeater also features a clean and intuitive graphic display for quick graphical editing of our patterns. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next video.